the famous. History of Megan the Stallion Megan Joven Ruth Pete was born on February 15, 1995. She is known professionally as Megan the Stallion and as an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. Originally from Houston, Texas, she first garnered attention when videos of her freestyling became popular on social media platforms such as Instagram. Nigga, then you know I'm in them jaws. How you let a broke nigga talk you out the draws? I don't even chase liquor. Why would I chase a nigga? He said I should be nicer. Well, your dick should be bigger. He said in 2016, Megan the Stallion began releasing songs exclusively onto SoundCloud. She commercially released three EPs between 2017 and 2019, namely Make It Hot, Tina Snow, and Suga. She signed to 300 Entertainment in 2018, where she released her first full-length mixtape, Fever to Critical Acclaim. Meet me at the bank, show me what you really bout. Niggas ain't real when the shit really count. That's why I keep my look at in they mouth. Say, bitch, I don't got a cap. Hair thing I talk, yeah, I really did. Her debut studio album Good News was released in November 2020. Megan the Stallion Early Life. Megan Joven Ruth Pete was born on February 15, 1995 in Bear County, Texas, and raised in the South Park neighborhood of Houston. Her mother, Holly Elise Thomas, rapped under the name, Holly Wood, and would bring her daughter with her to recording sessions instead of putting Pete in daycare. Pete and her mother moved to Pearland, Texas, a suburb of Houston, when she was 14 and lived there until she was 18. Pete began writing raps at age 16. When she told her mother that she wanted to rap, Holly required that Pete wait until she was 21 to pursue rapping as a career. Her mother commented that her lyrics were too suggestive for her young age. Pete graduated from Pearland High School in 2013. In 2013, while she was a student at Prairie View A&M University, she began uploading videos of her freestyling on social media. A clip of Pete battling against male opponents in a cipher went viral. The exposure helped Pete gain a larger digital presence and following on social media. She garnered fans by posting her freestyles on her Instagram while in college. She refers to her fans as hotties and credits her hyperactive fanbase for her early success. She adopted the stage name Megan the Stallion because she was referred to as a stallion during adolescence due to her height and thick, large boned endomorph body frame. Megan the Stallion Career In April 2016, Megan the Stallion released her debut single, Like a Stallion, which would later serve as the lead and titular single of the SoundCloud exclusive, non commercial mixtape of the same name. She followed this project with similarly released mixtapes such as Rich Ratchet in late 2016 and Megan Mix in early 2017. Megan The Stallion released her professional solo debut with the commercially released mixtape Make It Hot. The EP's 2017 single, Last Week in HTX, became her most successful single during this time, amassing several million views on YouTube. I ain't never ran from a hoe, but I never let a bitch get a stain on my clothes, no. In 2017, she released the song, Stolly, as a rework of rapper XXXTentacion's, Look At Me. In early 2018, Megan The Stallion signed with 1501 Certified Entertainment, an independent label in Houston owned by former baseball player Carl Crawford. She was the first female rapper signed to the label. She then performed at South by Southwest in March 2018. In June 2018, Megan The Stallion released a 10-song extended play titled Tina Snow under the label. The EP was named after her alter ego, Tina Snow, who she describes as a more raw version of herself. 
Tina Snow was positively received by critics. She stated in an interview with Mike that she is not afraid to talk about sexuality, nor does she feel boxed into either the intelligent or freak dichotomy. Nandi Howard of The Fader referred to her ability to rap with electrifying pace and precision. Just been hustling, watching it pile. They pulling bitches from linking the bio. You wanna reach out to me? It's a process. I got the middle man. He gotta connect. Bottom line is I'm not easy to contact. In November 2018, Megan Thee Stallion announced that she had signed with 300 Entertainment, making her the first female rapper to be signed by the label. It was during this time that she was scheduled to support Australian rapper Iggy Azalea on her Bad Girls tour. However, the tour was later cancelled. On January 22, 2019, Megan released, Big Ol' Freak, as a single from her EP, Tina Snow, and also filmed a music video for the track. The single, Is It Love This Time, is sampled throughout the single. On April 15, Big Ol' Freak, charted at number 99 on the Billboard Hot 100 giving Megan her first chart entry, with it later peaking at number 65 on the Hot 100. Megan the Stallion released her second mixtape, Fever, on May 17, 2019. The album received critical acclaim and landed on several year-end critics' lists, with Paper calling it the best album of 2019. On May 21, 2019, she released the music video for the opening album track, Reeler, which is inspired by the black exploitation film style. On June 20, 2019, she was announced to be one of 11 artists included in the 12th edition of XXL's Freshman Class. Her freestyle in the cipher was praised by music critics. In July 2019, Chance the Rapper released his debut studio album, The Big Day, and The Stallion was featured on the track, Handsome. On August 2, 2019, a Black Lady sketch show premiered on HBO. The show uses Megan The Stallion's song, Hot Girl, in the opening title sequence. On August 9, 2019, The Stallion released the single, Hot Girl Summer, featuring fellow American rapper Nicki Minaj and singer Ty Dolla Sign. The song, an ode to her viral, Hot Girl Summer, meme, came about after an Instagram live session between the two rappers. It peaked at number 11 on the US Billboard Hot 100, becoming The Stallion's first top 20 hit, and topped the Rolling Stone 100. But a freak on the weekend Eat that dick up even when I'm going vegan He be tripping on me and I know the reason I got to break up with my nigga every season The week thereafter, she featured on Quality Control compilation album Quality Control, Control the Streets, Volume 2 On the track, Pastor, alongside Quavo and City Girls In September 2019, Megan Thee Stallion signed a management deal with Rock Nation in October 2019, she created and starred in a horror series, Hottieween, directed by Tiana Taylor. In that same month, she performed a NPR Tiny Desk concert during the Tiny Desk Fest. In November 2019, Time placed Megan Thee Stallion on their inaugural Time 100 Next list. In January 2020, Megan Thee Stallion released the single, Diamonds, with singer Normani, for the soundtrack of the superhero film Birds of Prey. That same month, she announced her debut album Suga and released the lead single, B-I-T-C-H. You need a real one in your life, them bitches ain't gon' give it to you right, I'd rather be your B-I-T-C-H, cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm trippin' anyway. In February 2020, she featured on the single, FKN Around, by Phony PPL, and appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, performing, B-I-T-C-H. In March 2020, she announced that her debut album, Suga, was delayed as a result of her attempting to renegotiate her contract with 1501 Certified. She started the hashtag, hashtag Free the Stallion, to raise awareness of the issue, noting that, she did not understand some of the verbiage, when she signed the initial contract with 1501. 
On March 6, 2020, Megan Thee Stallion released the EP, Suga, Against the Wishes of 1501, after a judge granted a temporary restraining order against the label. That same month, the song, Savage, from the EP went viral on TikTok, when popular user Kiara Wilson used it for a dance challenge video, which racked up 15.7 million views and 2.4 million likes as of March 20, 2020. A remix featuring Beyoncé was released on April 29, 2020. The song became The Stallion's first top 10 hit in the United States shortly after the remix's release, eventually becoming The Stallion's first chart topper in the United States. Savage also helped boost Suga's sales, propelling it up to number 7 on the Billboard 200. Proceeds from the song went to a Houston nonprofit, Bread of Life, which provides disaster relief for residents affected by COVID-19. She released the song, Girls in the Hood, on June 26, 2020, before also featuring on Cardi B's single, WAP, and appearing in its music video in August 2020. WAP, became Megan's second number one single in the US. Megan also became a global brand ambassador for Revlon in August 2020. She received her first ever Billboard Music Award nomination when she was nominated for Top Rap Female Artist in September 2020. A few days later, Megan Thee Stallion was featured in the annual Time 100 list of the most influential people in the world. Megan Thee Stallion tied with Drake when she received eight nominations at the 2020 Bet Hip Hop Awards, including Artist of the Year, Song of the Year and Album of the Year. She also tied with Justin Bieber as the most nominated musician at the 2020 People's Choice Awards, earning six nominations each. Megan Thee Stallion would also become the second most nominated act at the 2020 American Music Awards. In October 2020, Megan Thee Stallion released the single, Don't Stop, featuring rapper Young Thug, and promoted it by performing it on the 46th season premiere of Saturday Night Live. She also performed a, politically charged, version of, Savage, that evening, in which she addressed racism, the Attorney General of Kentucky Daniel Cameron, and sent a message about protecting black women and the Black Lives Matter movement. On November 13, 2020, Megan Thee Stallion announced the release of her debut studio album Good News, which was released on November 20, 2020. The release of the album also coincided with its fourth single, Body, as well as its music video. Megan Thee Stallion Artistry Megan Thee Stallion is known for her confidence, sensuality, and explicit lyrics. She presents her sexuality throughout her lyrics, videos, and live performances. In an interview with Pitchfork she stated, It's not just about being sexy, it's about being confident and me being confident in my sexuality. On her Texas rap origins, she told Rolling Stone she noted, I don't feel like we ever really had a female rapper come from Houston or Texas and shut shit down. So that's where I'm coming from. Megan Thee Stallion cites Beyonce, Pimp C, The Notorious B.I.G., 3-6 Mafia, and her mother as her biggest influences. She also credits Q-Tip as her mentor. Megan Thee Stallion Public Image, Alter Egos and Trademarks In multiple interviews, Megan Thee Stallion has referred to herself as, Tina Snow, one of her alter egos and also the name of her debut EP, Tina Snow. Tina Snow, was influenced by Pimp C's alias Tony Snow, and has similar confidence in an unapologetic sexually dominant delivery. Hot Girl Meg, is another alter ego who is described as embodying Megan Thee Stallion's carefree and outgoing side, which she compares to a college, party girl. She stated that she introduced, Hot Girl Meg, on her EP, Fever. Megan Thee Stallion has also referred to herself as, The Hood Tyra Banks. Megan originated the viral catchphrase, Hot Girl Summer, on social media. It is a derivative of another of her most known catchphrases, hot girl, also derived from, real hot girl shit. She first used the phrase in a tweet on April 14, 2018. It later appeared on the Fever album cover, which read, she's the hot girl and she's bringing the heat. She defined the term as, women and men being unapologetically them, just having a good ass time, hyping up their friends, doing you. Megan Thee Stallion officially trademarked the term, Hot Girl Summer, in September 2019 after applying for it in July of that year. A song of the same name was released on August 9, 2019. In addition to, Hot Girl, and, Hot Girl Summer, 
Megan Thee Stallion is known for her signature ad-lib which involves sticking her tongue out, creating a creaky, audible, ah, or, blah, sound. In August 2019, Twitter created an official emoji for this tongue symbol which could be spawned directly after the hashtag, Megan Thee Stallion. This symbol also inspired the cover art of her EP Suga which was revealed in March 2020. Megan Thee Stallion Personal Life Megan Thee Stallion makes mentions to being part Creole in her songs, Cocky AF, and Freak Nasty, as well as in a tweet in September 2017. Her mother, Holly Thomas, died in March 2019 from a long-standing cancerous brain tumor, and her grandmother died in the same month. In addition to acting as Megan's manager, Thomas influenced her decision to study health administration and also helped foster her wish to establish assisted living facilities in her hometown of Houston, Texas. After having previously taken time off school, she resumed her studies at Texas Southern University in Health Administration, where she is a third-year student as of 2019. On July 15, 2020, Megan Thee Stallion stated that she had suffered gunshot wounds and that she had undergone surgery to remove the bullets. Her statement countered an earlier TMZ report that she had injured her foot on broken glass the Sunday prior when she was in a car with rapper Tory Lanez and an unidentified woman. The car was pulled over by police and Lanes was arrested on gun charges following a vehicle search. The following month, Megan claimed that Lanes was the person who shot her, saying that, I didn't tell the police what happened immediately right there because I didn't want to die. On September 25, 2020, Lanes released his fifth album, Daystar, in which he addresses the shooting on nearly every song, and denies that he shot Megan, while also claiming she and her team were, trying to frame, him. The same day, in a statement to Variety, Megan's attorney, Alex Spiro, claimed Lanes's representatives had since attempted to launch a smear campaign against Megan to discredit her allegations. Spiro stated, We have been made aware of manipulated text messages and invented email accounts that have been disseminated to the media in a calculated attempt to peddle a false narrative about the events that occurred. Lanes's team denied this, saying that they would investigate who was behind the fake emails and would take appropriate action. On October 8, 2020, Lanes was charged with shooting Megan Thee Stallion by Los Angeles country prosecutors. An arraignment for Lanes was scheduled on October 13, however, it was delayed to November 18, after Lanes's attorney requested a continuance. A protective order has since been issued against Lanes, he is to stay at least 100 yards away from Megan and not contact her. He was also ordered to surrender any guns he owns. In an op-ed for the New York Times, published on October 13, 2020, Megan addressed the shooting further, writing, Black women are still constantly disrespected and disregarded in so many areas of life. I was recently the victim of an act of violence by a man. After a party, I was shot twice as I walked away from him. We were not in a relationship. Truthfully, I was shocked that I ended up in that place. If convicted, Lanes may face a maximum sentence of 22 years and 8 months in state prison. He pleaded not guilty to assault with a semi-automatic handgun in late November 2020. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future videos.